what you are seeing behind me is our range view uh, UAS detect and avoid system display. Uh, Harris is the leading provider of aviation infrastructure to the FAA, which includes their next-gen surveillance systems and communication and, and network infrastructure. And we're now applying that expertise into the unmanned aircraft world. The three things that you need to fly beyond visual line of sight for unmanned aircraft is detect and avoid, so seeing that airplane now electronically. Second is command and control. You're flying that airplane by wire um, over a now secured uh, radio frequency link. And the third is airspace management. So what I have on the display here is uh, the airspace around Grand Forks, North Dakota. Uh, we are teamed with the Northern Plains UAS te test site and the state of North Dakota to provide a UAS beyond visual line uh, site network um, to include these capabilities, surveillance, uh, technovoid C2 and airspace management um, in an area between Grand Forks and down into, in, into Fargo. Uh, what you see on the display now are actual live aircraft that are flying in that airspace. You know, as I'm speaking, and as part as the FAA Next Gen Surveillance uh, Provider to the FAA, we have links to all of the FAA radar systems and their Next Gen ADSB or Automatic Dependent Surveillance Broadcast System. So, you're seeing multiple aircraft flying. Um, we are, uh, uh, most of these are manned aircraft, but we're also using the same Next Gen technology to track unmanned aircraft. So, on the uh, uh, center display, this is the larger airspace picture, about 20 miles around uh, Grand Forks International Airport, and next to that is actually Grand Forks Air Force Base. Uh, we also have now a, a, a uh, we are the surveillance service provider for Grand Sky, which is the uh, civilian side of Grand Forks Air Force Base, and they will be using a customized version of this system with some uh, localized uh, sur surveillance sensors to provide tracking of unmanned aircraft for real world beyond line of sight flying, so no chase airplanes and without visual observers, um, to be able to transition out of the Grand Forks Air Force Base on the, on the civilian side up through the flight levels to, to uh, 18,000 feet to then go into positive control airspace. So they'll be using our system to and that first COA approval for, for uh, beyond line of sight operations and controlled airspace.